Good morning, St. Brennan School. We're your hosts, Corinne. And Kevin. And welcome to WSBS Anchored in the News. Today, we're going to learn about an animal, meet a teacher, make a craft, ask some questions, and learn about this week in history. And now, it's time to be wild. It's time for Animal of the Week, hosted by Connor, Emma, and Gary. Welcome to Animal of the Week. Today, we'll be learning about the mandrill. The mandrill is a primate of the old world monkey family. The mandrill's scientific name is the mandrill sphinx. They are omnivores and they are vulnerable in the animal kingdom. A fun fact about the mandrill is they have extremely long canine teeth, which are about 2.5 inches long. And if you have ever seen the movie The Lion King, Rafiki is a mandrill and Rafiki is Swahili for friend. Like I said, do you remember how many inches their teeth can be? Here are your choices. A, 1 inch, B, 2 inches, C, 2.5 inches, or D, 66 centimeters. You have 10 seconds, go. If you answered C, you are correct. Great job, thank you, and we'll see you next week on Animal of the Week. Thank you for that presentation by the people at Animal of the Week. And now some words from our sponsors. Come on over and enjoy a breakfast meal at 5331 Fog, Pearl Road, Strongsville, Ohio. The restaurant name is Gourmet. You open from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Monday through Saturday, and open from 6.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. So come on over. Now it's time to get artsy. Let's make a craft. Thanks, Kevin and Corinne. This is how to make it, and we will be teaching you how to make a paper airplane. First, you'll fold the regular piece of paper, well, first printer paper in half. Long ways, like a hot dog. Then you would fold it again, like how to fold the corners in. Like a house. Once you're at this step, you'll take the corner right here and fold it in again. Do the same thing to the other side. This one should look kind of like a mountain. So once you're at this step, you would take it and fold it in half, like your first step. You would take this part and fold it down to the end of your paper. Do the same thing for that side. Now let's go test them. Voila! Now we're going to throw these paper airplanes. <laughs> these puns are so boring. I need something new. Did you say something new? Well, how about a white pen? But white pens can't be written on white paper. Oh. Hold on, I have just a thing. I want black paper. Oh, wow. This is amazing. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> now let's go down to Emma and Ava for Ask Me Anything. Hi, I'm Ava. And I'm Emma. Welcome to Ask Me Anything. The show where you can ask us anything. What is that? That is the question box. How do I enter a question? You simply take a slip of paper like this, write your name, grade, and question on it, then put it in the box. Where is the question box? The question box is located in Misty's office, the school office. Oh, when do I enter in a question in the question box? Bye. You enter it in by every Thursday. Well, that's all for Ask Me Anything. Bye. Remember to put a question in the question box for next week. And now it's time to learn about what happened this week in history with Nathan. Hi. Welcome to This Week in History. I'm Nathan. I'm going to give you a brief rundown of some of the more interesting things that happened this week in the past. First off, Ferruccio Lamborghini was born in 1916. 
the World War II monument opened in 2004, George Washington gave the first presidential address in 1789. The Empire State Building was dedicated in 1931. The Japanese surrendered World War II in 1945. A 54-year-old won the Kentucky Derby in 1986. And Rhode Island declared its independence from the British in 1775. That's all that happened this week in the past. Now back to Kevin and Curran. Nathan, that was very cool. I never knew that before. Well, I think that's a wrap. I'm Corinne. I'm Kevin, and we're signing off. See you, See you next, next time. time.